Dun, 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 dun. Welcome back, my friend. This is BJJ Brick Quick. My name is Byron. We're going to talk about jujitsu. Going to take about five minutes, give or take. What we're not going to do is take a month off. <laughs> not right now. But that's our topic taking a month off of jujitsu. There are a lot of really good reasons to take a month off. Maybe just a handful, I guess. Work, personal life, social things, uh, injury. (laughs) List kind of dries up after that. Maybe a month-long vacation. You could train while you're on vacation. Maybe instead of quitting jujitsu, you're going to take a month off and come back to it. If you ask your coach, you ask me, that is that is a high-risk thing to just actually just quitting jiu-jitsu. It's hard to come back after a month off, especially if you feel like it's no longer enjoyable. Maybe you'll find or reignite your passion again. You know, you hear people taking some time off in a relationship and coming back, and it's maybe it's better. I don't know. I guess I never really have done that before. <laughs> Taking a month off of jujitsu. I think the most common one that's going to be mandatory is you've got injured. Way to go. <laughs> oh, that's not fun. What else are you going to do? What are you going to do this month? You just had surgery. It's not like you can go in there and tough it out. You can't do jujitsu. You're going to mess up your surgery. You're going to mess up your body. You're going to have permanent damage. You're off for a month. I'm just saying, I picked a month because it was a month. It might be six weeks. It might be three or two. I, who, I don't know. You're off for a while. You'd rather not be. This might be a good time to do some off the mat learning. Get a, get a video from BJJ Fanatics. Or start studying somebody on YouTube. There's a lot of good YouTube channels out there that really dig down deep. You'll still have time to do a five-minute podcast, I'd imagine. <laughs> but but t- come back a little different, maybe. Come back with a different uh, set of tools in that toolbox. You could actually take this and if done correctly, it could be a bit of an advantage long-term. Kind of break your patterns. I interviewed John Kavanaugh, who is uh, John, or John, <laughs> Conor McGregor's coach. He says Conor McGregor was, he was good. He was doing great. Then he was off for a while. I don't know if his injury or what. He came back and it was like a whole other person. Way better. Make that be your month. <laughs> if you have a leg injury, are you do are you still working your core out? You still working upper body, your neck? What are you doing? You're not standing still. You're either moving forward or backwards. And it may seem like it's impossible. It may be super frustrating, but you can move forward without being on the mats. No, it shouldn't be plan A. <laughs> it's, if you haven't started training and you want to take a month off at the beginning to get you know back in shape, just go start training. It's going to be hard either way. You'll start learning jiu-jitsu. But if, you, if you've been sentenced to that mandatory month off or if you know your life is telling you right now this is going to work, work shipping you off or, or, or maybe you're, you're serving your country, and you're just too busy at the t- whatever the reason is. Find a way to try to turn it to where it's it's a little bit of an advantage for you. Some different training. Maybe you're on on a ship for a month. There's no jujitsu. Hey, there's a judo guy. Okay, this could change your game. <laughs> this could a month of of working with this person. Man, that could really have a long-term effect on on what you're doing on the mats. Anytime you're handed something like this, and especially if you don't want it, 
it's going to it's going to sting take a day or two kind of just let it soak in and try to figure out how to make it work for yourself talk to your coach get a little bit of advice oftentimes there's a student at uh, fox fitness where i train sitting on the bleachers watching class got a cast on got got something else you know can't train today but is wants to be here wants to be part of the team wants to see what coach is teaching wants to see the smile on well maybe my face but probably somebody else's <laughs> i don't know it's tough i sympathize with you we enjoy our sport we enjoy this it's a it's a great workout you don't want to come back after a month and be totally out of shape you probably have to clean up your diet a little bit to maintain any sort of a shape that you had. The the caloric output we're putting on the mats, you know, we're we're burning up those calories. If that's gone, no, well, maybe not so much dessert. <laughs> uh, you've got to remember to stay sweaty, and I hope you have a great day. <laughs>